Oh boy. I think you guys can see me. I'm wondering if our internet. And if that's the case, I'll, I'll do it upstairs with you guys. Um, you know, raw footage of what someone's living room looks like when they aren't planning on going live in it. I came upstairs. The internet freezing downstairs. I'm gonna, I'm hoping it doesn't, am I still freezing? Oh, this is gonna be a pain. Am I still freezing? Constance. <laughs> I'm not sure why our internet's so bad right now. Dang it. Is all of this fun? Yeah. yeah. Tell me if it's better in here. Quick. If I try to change the internet to my phone, I think that'll work. Okay, right, I'm gonna try one thing really quick before I give up. If it kicks me off live, I'll go right back on live. Okay, so that's better. I connected to my phone internet. Okay, let me go grab some heavier dumbbells to come up here. So what we're gonna need today, you guys probably saw it's a floor workout, but we do need dumbbells. We need some dumbbells, um, different weights. We're gonna be using them for our arms and our glutes. I'm not gonna bring up super heavy stuff. I just don't feel like, feel like hearing it all upstairs. Um, but I am going to grab, I have the eights. I'm gonna go grab my 15s. So I'll be right back. And then my board. I'm going to go grab our board so we can see the workout. Um, that way we're not forgetting what it is. And then I'll be right back. plan today's workout to be a floor workout <laughs> and this worked out perfect because we are downstairs or in my main floor so this is, let's sit down we're going to stretch um from just doing my steps it's not a good sign but let's sit down let's stretch i do have to warm up just my hamstrings for a second um no we're not we're not working our hamstrings today but mine are really tight so i'm just going to Really quick, and then we are going to start warming up our arms, our chest, our we're going to be working our shoulders. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'll go over the workout here in a minute. I'm going to, I'm going to stretch. 
Okay. I would have like probably vacuumed my floor. What's up, you guys? We have pets, so we have dog hair on our floor in here. What's up, Nikki? Aaron, Megan, Constance. Yeah, sorry, that was really blurry for you guys. I'm walking again. I don't. I don't know why. I really don't. When I move or my phone moves? <sighs> if it's my computer, then I, I, I won't move my computer anymore. So was my computer working better when it was up top? If that's the case, I'll move it back up top. Don't move. Okay. I won't move. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're keeping it right here. If I move, does it mess up or just when I move my computer? Like if I move, does it mess up? Cause that's going to be a problem. <laughs> this is so funny. It's not even like raining out. That's what's funny is it's actually sunny and beautiful. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. I can keep it there. I just don't know why it's not good all of a sudden. I feel like it's been so good. So weird, so weird. Frustrating. <sighs> okay. We have a good workout today. And I didn't even plan it to be on the floor, like, or I didn't even plan to like, be out of my workout spot and up here. So this is actually working out really good. This is working out really good for me because all we need is a floor and some dumbbells. We don't need our bench, um, which usually we use our bench for these movements. So I was really glad that, <laughs> that this is what we have. We haven't gotten the muskrat yet, you guys. No muskrat yet. I know you guys are wondering. If you guys haven't seen my story this morning, um, we have muskrats in our pond. Like they'll ruin your pond, like the infra infrastructure of your pond. So we're trying to stop that. And they all came out of nowhere. That's what's weird is they've all been out there for like two weeks now, but we've never had them before ever, which is good. But I'm like, why do we have these things all of a sudden? So sore from Tuesday's workout. Whew. Yeah, we all of a sudden have these animals that I feel like they're just, I know, Stephanie, I feel like God is just like giving Zach things to do in Ohio, reasons to like Ohio, because he can do his little hunting. Isn't that funny? We did Pilates work out legs and abs. It was brutal. Ooh, Pilates is fun. I used to love Pilates. Pilates is fun. I enjoy Pilates a lot. I need a vacuum so bad. <laughs> uh. Okay. It's weird. All of our friends, when I go live and I just work out, our eight-year-old friends don't show up. Maybe it's the time. <laughs> Remember, Megan, that one day that uh, it was all my eight-year-old little friends on here, 11-year-old friends? I feel like they were so like into these stories that they didn't even know how old they were. I think all those people were making up their ages or something. I don't know. 
I don't believe it. There's no way they were all 11 years old. <sighs> yeah, that stuff was so stupid. I call my name out, please. But you know what's funny, Megan, is I picture my kids doing that when they're watching like Mr. Beast. I picture that being my kids <laughs> when they watch like an actual YouTube, like famous person. It's like, call my name out, call my name out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird when somebody's on my live because I have like eight followers and nobody cares if I call their name out. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? Maybe they should first go see how many followers I have before they ask me to call their name out. <laughs> They're like, oh, this girl isn't actually a YouTuber. <laughs> That's what's I think funny about it is they probably think I'm like one of those big YouTubers and I'm not. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> Man. My kids couldn't wait till I got to 10,000 followers on here. Um, they couldn't wait till I got to 10,000 followers because we could sell merch. Yes, we've sold no merch. <laughs> we, have, we forgot to even put out merch on here. My kids couldn't wait though. They were like 10,000 followers and you could sell merch. Well, we forgot. We forgot to actually sell merch. I'm 12. Oh, wait, my. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm actually 12. My sister's nine. I was like, how old are you guys? Like, like, where's my mom's at? Where's my people? Okay, you guys. We're going to come to the ground and stretch our arms too. <laughs> I'm 12. <laughs> and then will you post about my lemonade stand online <laughs> like just go set up your stand at the end of your driveway that's like what we did as kids <laughs> will you post about it please we sponsor it hey you guys you don't need a sponsor actually to have a have your lemonade stand you guys just go sit out there with your sign and you sell your lemonade you don't need a sponsor you don't need someone to um like give you permission or validate it you just go out there and sell lemonade that's all i did you don't even need like a permit for it in most spots okay you guys tee up to the ground arms out we're gonna come over stretch we're stretching this shoulder we're so we don't want to go too fast onto the shoulder we want to use the other arm for leverage and go we are working our delts today we're working our delts. Um, if you guys were on here like two weeks ago or three weeks ago with me and you remember what we did that really crushed our delts, that's we're doing that movement again. Does anyone remember what it was? My hit, this hurts my hit. Okay, other side. Man, if I didn't have you guys working out with me, I would absolutely not work out right now and I'd be vacuuming. I would, I would work out and I would vacuum. Okay. Okay, you guys, keep stretching. Keep stretching. Get into your shoulders. Um, we are doing lightweight today, so that's a that's a bonus. But I'm gonna go over the workout. We're gonna get started on the workout. Okay, so for today's workout, here's what we're doing. We're doing an EMOM, uh, and all we need is our floor, we need some dumbbells, and our body. That's it. So we're doing four movements for this EMOM. We're going to start with a floor press, and I'll go over these movements in just a second. I'm going to first say them. Um, then we're going to go into the glute bridge. Then we're going to do the floor. We're going to do flies from the floor, dumbbell flies from the floor, and then we're going to do bicycle crunches. She's gonna work our abs and obliques. So we're gonna do these four movements. Um, 
So if you guys were on our workout the other day when, or a couple weeks ago when we did our flies, it really, our, like, um, like our inside delts were so sore. So remember what, one thing I like that we're doing this about this on the floor with is you can't go too far. When we're on a bench, it's a lot easier to get injured doing the flies um, because people go too far back. So doing it from the floor, I like a lot better because it's easier to stop before you go too far. It forces you to stop because of the floor. So I'm gonna show you guys the four movements. We're gonna get started in this workout. Make sure for this one, you guys don't go too heavy. Slow and controlled is what you guys wanna do. It's a really small muscle that we're working. Um, and our shoulder muscles, they're just smaller. Glutes, go heavy. If you guys have a heavy dumbbell, go heavy. Um, your glutes are very strong. It's our strongest, strongest muscles right there is gonna be our, our glutes. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this first movement. It's gonna be the floor press. So we're gonna lay down on the floor and we're gonna do that floor press. Um, it's the same as a bench press, just using a floor. So your range of motion is going to be shorted. So you're gonna lay down. You're gonna have your hands up here, over your eyes. What you're gonna do is unlock your elbows. Elbows come out and your, your hands come here. You cannot go below this. So your, your um, weights cannot touch your chest. In a, in a traditional bench press, it touches the chest and then we come up. We cannot touch our chest right now. Unless you have a very large chest, you're not touching your chest with your dumbbells. Um, so we're gonna unlock our elbows, come down, come up, press up. And if you only have light dumbbells and you guys wanna push it a little harder, slow down the uh, momentum coming down. So instead of coming down like normal and pressing up fast, slow it down. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000. Anytime we have time under tension, it's gonna add and build muscle. So time under tension, which is what we're doing when we slow that movement down, um, it makes a difference. So I'm gonna probably use my 20s for the floor press. So grab a weight that you guys can use and that pushes you. The second movement is the glute bridge. The glute bridge, we're gonna be on the ground. Our feet are in front of our butt. Our feet, our uh, heels are in front of our butt, our glutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a weight right on our pelvis, on our hip bones, and you're gonna drive up, squeeze your glutes at the top. Squeeze your glutes, come back down. Come up, exaggerate that squeeze at the top, exaggerate it. Make sure your hips are open. Do not be it down here and just, don't just go like little pulses. Open your hips all the way at the top. All the way at the top, use a heavy weight. I just had an eight, I'm probably gonna use my twenties for this. Um, so glute bridges. And make sure you're driving through your shoulders. Shoulders go through the ground, heels go through the ground. So shoulders are going to go through the ground, heels through the ground and drive your glutes up. Flies, so flies. This is where the lighter weights are gonna come into play. So the flies, you're gonna have them up overhead, right in front of your eyes, so they're not like this. They're not like this, like we had for bench press, or floor press, like this. We're gonna open, close. The angle of your arm is staying the same the whole time. So the angle of our arm is staying the same the whole time. We're not like bending, we're not increasing or decreasing the, the bend in our elbow. The bend in your elbow stays the same. So we're gonna come out, come in. So they're up here, and the floor is gonna force you to slow down and stop and come back up. So control it, control the descent and come up. Do not let your arms just go crashing down and it's not like, bouncing them off the floor, you guys, you have to take care of your shoulder muscles or you're gonna end up injuring a muscle, pulling something, tearing something. So take care of your shoulder muscles, go light on this. I promise, if you guys didn't do this a few weeks ago with us, it's one that creeps up on you and it, it hurts. It's gonna, it's, you're gonna be really sore. Um, and then the fourth muscle or the fourth movement is gonna be the bicycle crunch. So for the bicycle crunch, we're gonna 
be working our obliques and our abs. So we're gonna come up. We're gonna do opposite knee, opposite elbow, opposite knee. And we're gonna tap, tap, tap. We're gonna keep going. So that's what the bicycle crunch is. Whew. Yeah, this is gonna be fun today. I feel like I need to warm up from that. From a, just, I'm just so sore from Tuesdays. Okay, so I'm gonna set our timer, you guys. We're gonna get rocking and rolling. Okay, so I'm going to set the timer. We're going to do this. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm trying to set my timer right now without moving my phone. That's why I, I'm doing it from over here, and I'm looking all weird. I'm trying to not move my phone, not move you guys. I don't want to lose you guys. Um, we're going to go, we're going to set it as a Tabata. Oh, we're doing 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest for 16 minutes. 40, 20, 16 is what we're going to do today. So 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest for 16 rounds. So make sure you guys for these, these flies, we go slow and steady. Don't, don't fly through these. Um, Okay. Good question, Constance. Okay, we're gonna start in five seconds. We're starting with the floor press. Let's go. Go. Okay, floor press, you guys. And try to move your arms together. They move at the same time. Halfway there. Good job, you guys. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Then we're going to move to the glute bridge. We're going to move to the glute bridge. If you guys can get both um, of your weights up on your glutes, do it. If you can't, <laughs> use one. We're going to see what we can do. We're going to go in two seconds. Round two. Go. Remember, you're driving your heels and your shoulders through the ground. Come on. Good job, you guys. Halfway there. Halfway. Good job. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. We're going to do those flies. Do not go too heavy on these flies, you guys. Way there. Good job, you guys. Ten seconds. Good job. Rest. Rest. Now we're going to do those bicycle crunches. Rotate. Remember, opposite elbow onto opposite knee. Try to tap. Twist in your core, tap, get that full range of motion. And then we're gonna go back to the top. Round four. Go! Good job, come on you guys. Halfway 
halfway there. Come on. Ten seconds. Rest. Woo! Rest. Okay, you guys, we're back to the top of floor press. Back to the top of floor press. Slow and controlled. Slow and controlled. And if you guys want to work harder, slow down that descent. Slow down the descent and drive up hard. Slow down the descent. Round five. Go! Way there. Come on. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Glute bridges. Glute bridges. Put both ways up here. We're gonna try it. Two, one. Round six. Go. Good job, you guys. Halfway working. there. seconds. Good job. Rest. Rest. Okay, you guys, flies and then bicycle crunches. Way there. Ten seconds. Good job, you guys. Rest. Rest. Okay, you guys, bicycle crunches. Bicycle crunches. Twist. Halfway there. Come on. Ten seconds. Rest. Woo. Rest. Floor presses. If you guys have heavier weights and you guys want to increase in weight, Go ahead and do it. Round nine. Go. Halfway.
halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Woo! Glute bridges. Glute bridges. Glute bridges. If you guys are doing hip thrust, that's totally fine. Totally fine. Halfway there. <sighs> Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. It's funny. Um, in the Montana house, Marissa was like, it looks so much brighter in here. She's like, it looks like there's more light or something coming in. It took us a while to figure out that the ceilings being finished made it look brighter. <laughs> Legit, the ceilings being finished in white made the room look so much brighter and like, go, flies. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Good job, you guys. Rest. Rest. Bicycle crunches. Bicycle crunches. Okay, you guys, stay strong. One more round after this. Come on. Round 12. Whoa! Come on, don't slow down. Full twist, full twist. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Come on. Rest. Woo! Rest. Okay, guys. Floor press. Last round. Last round. Last full round. Floor press. Go. Halfway there. seconds. Come on. Rest. Rest. Okay, you guys, blue bridges. Blue bridges. Last time doing each movement. Go. 
halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Okay, you guys. Flies. Man. Two. Round 15. Go. Halfway there. Make sure we're controlling the stop, you guys, as we get tired. Control that descent. Big Ten time. seconds. Rest. Rest. Bicycle crunches. Bicycle crunches. I know these are getting to be very exhausting on our core. It burns. Okay, we're gonna go in three. Last round. Go. Come on. Halfway there. Almost done. Ten seconds. Cooper, lay down. Well done. Woo! Good job. Okay. We're done. We're done. Um, after that, it is important still, you guys, to do post-workout. Um, I'm not going to move you guys just because I know our internet's kind of bad. Also, you guys should go like this. You guys should like it. I always forget to ask for that, and then I listen to <laughs> my kids listening to YouTube, and the person's always like, make sure you like it. I just don't know how to like it. Do you guys know how to like this? I'll figure it out. I'm going to ask my kids how to like a YouTube. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard we were making it live? And Kinsley said, Kinsley was like at the end, she's like, make sure that's, or Kenzie. No, Kinsley, uh, Marissa's daughter. And she goes, what did she say? Like, share, and subscribe? Like, share, and It was the cutest thing because it was so natural. Like, she watched it all the time. But that's that's what you're supposed to say at the end or at the beginning or some point. Um, but she was so natural. It was the cutest thing ever. So if you guys can figure out how to like it, you guys should do it. How do you like it, April? Because I can't figure it out. Where's the um, that button? <sighs> Maybe it's just not on mine because I'm making a video. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, thumbs up. I don't know what it actually does, but I think it has some sort of thing to do with the video. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I appreciate the thumbs up. Thank you, April. Thank you, Constance. All four of you. I got four thumbs up. I'm scared to carry you guys into the kitchen. I'm scared to carry you guys in the kitchen because I feel like I'm going to lose you guys. But if you're finding the, did I lose you guys? Did I, oh, Constance, you're amazing. Yes, five now. You guys are awesome. What does it do actually, April, on this one, on YouTube? That's like the famous thing YouTube does. Exit out of live chat. Oh, so you have to exit out. No wonder nobody knows to like stuff. Oh, see, so you guys are amazing. I don't either. Our kids would know. Ryder would know. William would probably know. Colton would know. Wyatt would know. I'm going to ask him. All the kids would know. Um, <laughs> Ryder knows. I'm up to eight. We're up to eight likes. Thank you so much. 
Let's make post workout though. Let's make post workout. You guys, I can't figure out why our pond turned brown. Oh, Constance, you're so awesome. Uh, you're amazing. Um, our pond all of a sudden, you guys turned like brown, like ugly, dingy brown. And my kids are like, Mom, do you think it's from the muskrat? And I'm like, I don't think a muskrat would have that kind of like pool. <laughs> but I don't know why it turned brown. Our pond is usually so pretty. <laughs> it's not pretty. I'm worried. It's like super dingy. We're up to 11. Phew, I liked it, but couldn't figure out. Man, no wonder we never get likes. It's because it's too much work to actually like it. Megan, thank you so much. You did it. You got back to the chat. I wonder if you'll let me like it. Maybe it won't because I, I don't even see a button. I don't know. Um... <laughs> wait till you wait after videos. Aw. These would help them. I know. Some people even watch like walking videos. It's it's cool that someone even thought on YouTube to make walking videos. Cause who would ever think like, oh, I'm gonna go find somebody on YouTube to teach me how to walk. But people literally, that's how they get their movement, is because they see other people making walking videos. Like I, I don't really understand what the video is. I haven't watched it myself. But I've seen people say that, like, they find somebody on YouTube that helps them get their steps in. And I'm like, whatever it takes. If that's what it takes, maybe that is what it is, April. It's got to be what it is. Um, but, yeah, whatever it takes to get your steps in or your movement in, then keep with it. And keep with it. But all I have to say is if I did not have you guys to do these workouts with, I would definitely get sidetracked and I would have started vacuuming. I would have like gotten up, I would have vacuumed, and I probably would have said, I'll do my workout later. And I wouldn't have done my workout. I might I might have, but I I work way harder with you guys. That's for sure. Hold on, let me get let me get water. post-workout right now. I'm almost, actually, I'm not even making a dent in my, we had all these ignitions in there that were like, kind of like crump, like clumping up. And so we've just felt weird sending them to you guys. So I was like, I'll use them because that's a big amount of weight to waste or throw away. So I'm using them. <laughs> Every time I'm like, oh yeah, I could probably, I'm probably almost done. I'm not even close to done using these stupid things. There's like 200 of them. use my kids charger I have to use my kids charger you gotta trap those listen to Olivia she said you have to trap those what does she mean you have to trap those it's hard to trap them when they're in the water I'm really, I'll do the walking videos. Does it actually push you? I've never done them. I've never even looked them up. I just know when I'm at the gym and it has like the walking thing that comes up on the like the screen, uh, it doesn't like push me. Like I don't even look at it. And that, I don't know if that's the same as the walking videos or I, I don't know what they are. <laughs> okay.
Okay, you guys, let's drink this. I did cafe mocha last night with the greens. It was so good. I'm pretty sure you guys, you guys could put your greens if you get the chocolate greens. I'm pretty sure, I don't know why I didn't think of this. You could probably just put it in your post-workout. If you drink a chocolate, like a cafe mocha or um, any chocolatey flavor, not strawberry, you could probably put it in your greens or your coffee. Like I almost added it to my coffee this morning because I'm like, why am I making a whole nother drink at night? Because I really enjoy my mocktail with like the seltzer water. I just wouldn't add seltzer water to those chocolate greens. But I almost was, I was like, why am I not adding these chocolate greens to something else? Because they're so chocolatey um, that you can add them to really anything. I Like I'm pretty sure you can add them to coffee and you wouldn't even really taste it. Like it's, I'm going to try it. And I'll let you guys know if it works. I'm not going on and I can tell off my work. Oh, that's tough. Sounds so gross, but I almost want to try them. They're, they're weird if you think of taking them with the reds and L-carnitine. Like to me, they're really weird because of how I usually take the greens. I just don't take them in a sweet way or in a chocolatey way. I take them like sweet. So that's why it's so weird. But I'm like 99% sure now that they have a chocolate flavor in them, you could take them, you could literally put them in your coffee and you wouldn't really taste it. Or you could put them in like a cafe mocha or any sort of protein. Like people used to add the greens to their protein and I'm like, ew, because they're just regular greens. But the chocolate ones, I feel like you could. I feel like you could definitely get away with it. But... I'm trying to get, I'll try it with my coffee. I'll try it with my coffee tomorrow morning. Um, or maybe I'll try it today. I'll try it today. Cause there's so many other things in it that you're not going to taste it. You're not going to taste the greens. But I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know. Texting your phone and checking mine to make sure I'm not missing. <laughs> so funny. Mm. Mm. Strawberry lids over there. Forgetting then because I'd like, I know, I know. It's kind of like through a whole wrench in like how I take any of my stuff. Cause I, like I've gotten off of my, I really look forward to my night tell, my nighttime like mocktail. <laughs> I love it. Um, so it's like thrown me off trying to figure out how to do it, like with the chocolate. So just stick to what you guys are doing. Just stick to what you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? I was taking it like, wait, how do you take it? You're probably asking Megan or Constance. Constance, how do you take yours at night? I think that's what she's asking. Oh, you're asking me. I take, um, so I do the magnesium. I usually do the strawberry or the wild berry magnesium at night. And with the seltzer water. I put water and then I add seltzer water. Helps me get my water in, but it also gets my magnesium in right before bed. But before that, like dinner time, I'll do the reds, greens, and L-carnitine. Even like an afternoon like snack, I'll do the reds, greens, and L-carnitine. So I bump those up to like earlier because I used to do reds, greens, and um, magnesium every night. And then I started... And then I love the night nighttime mocktail with the magnesium. And it helps me get my water. So I've tried a few different things. Just I've been in this routine now where I do, I just like the way I do it. <laughs> so the chocolate greens have thrown in like, I don't know, just have me confused how to take them. And they're good. 
Actually, I haven't done them with the reds yet to tell you if they're good with the reds. Um, I should say they're good <laughs> with the cafe mocha or they're good with the, um, the magnesium chocolate sea salt. They were not good by themselves. <laughs> I did them by themselves with my parents here and I did not like them. Not at all. I tried them in milk and I tried them in water, but I don't drink the greens by themselves either. So <laughs> I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant, Constance. The magnesium at night is so good with the um with the, the bubbly on top. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me know what you think about it, April, if you do it. But I, the flavors, I wouldn't do chocolate sea salt if I did it at night with, like, the mocktail. The mocktail, it tastes good with, like, one of the fruity flavors. Meaning, I don't know, wild berry or strawberry are the two I have used. I haven't tried it with peach ring or lemon. Isn't there, like, a lemon one? Mm -hmm. It's weird once you do the greens with magnesium. For so long. Because the magnesium is not as sweet as the L-carnitine. Um, the magnesium is not as sweet as the L-carnitine. So I got used to the magnesium with the reds and greens. And I loved it. Loved it. Um, for a while. And then I went back to the L-carnitine with it. And I was like, oh, this is sweet. It's so much sweeter. So much sweeter. With the L-carnitine. Oh, sweet. Thank you, Constance. What's up, Lisa? Okay. Oh, I got a text. Okay. Okay, so you guys, um, I'll see you guys on the workout tomorrow. You guys will probably see me live today announcing the winners. Out of the top 17, seven of them didn't, didn't pay. <laughs> so it made it really easy. It gave us a top 10. The L carnitine's really good as a like a daytime mocktail. Mm hmm The L carnitine's really good as a daytime. I I love the L carnitine like that with the seltzer water. Um. But yeah, out of because we have a lot that we vote on, so we found our top ten. We got it. Okay, bye, you guys. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the thumbs up. If you guys haven't thumbs up, I think you can do it after you leave the thing. I don't know. <laughs> Bye.